Greetings, welcome into your tarot message is for today. These are Cancerian tarot card messages and I'm taking a look at what is going on in your money energy for today. Remember that these messages are to be viewed as entertainment. Take what is for you and leave the rest alone. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for your loving show of support. On the bottom of the deck, Cancerian, we have the Two of Diamonds. It makes me feel like you're juggling right now. Um, something about codependency, right? There's something going on with your energy. It may have something to do with what you're eating. We have the Knight of Wands out here in your money message, which, which is um, beauty, attractiveness. Hmm. But don't burn yourself out also. Don't do that. Moving. You could be moving or like you're changing places. Or someone could be moving toward you. I'm also getting like things picking up speed very quickly. Yeah, the seven of ones. I hear battling. Okay. Nitro or neutral something. Toxic energies. Devil card. Yeah, codependencies. All right. Yeah, this is the truth. Um, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Chariot, Three of Cups is saying that this is what is actually going on. The truth, right? The Four of Swords. Energy of what is going on. Tell us more. Yeah, this may be affecting your money. There's something about your investment. Something about housing. Something about a housing scheme. And something about your energy or your utility energy. There's someone else that I think I feel like there's some someone else that <clears throat> is in charge of your power, your energy. Seven of Diamonds. This could be someone you're doing business with. Um, but you're going to be asking back for something. Like I feel like you've been over giving. Yeah, so there's something that it, and and it may be unusual to ask back for whatever this is returns but you're you're going to be heard because i feel like you're being reasonable yeah the six of cups you're being reasonable it's like you're saying your needs are not being met and you just have a word to put in you have some requests from the higher ups your bosses your employers yeah about your home your business the, your harmony your peace right your relationship whatever marriage you have going on here you want it to be balanced and fair but i feel like you feel like it has not been ten of swords energy like you've been carrying a lot on your back five of diamonds i feel like that is the truth confirmation and the swords someone has that like you are about to start speaking out the truth clearly right how you feel what is really going on and so you're, I feel like you're about to be heard. You're one of the one of a kind people, for real. Like that, open your mouth and speak to someone that has uh, some type of authority. And so you you are a leader. You're a true leader of this time. You're a front runner. You may be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or closely connected to those signs, especially when it comes to what you're passionate about. And sometimes you may feel like you burn yourself out and all of these things. And maybe you should like learn how to have some balance also with your energy, how to give back to yourself. That is why I feel like there's someone that is coming into your life that will help you to find that balance in love, right? In love, okay? Because you've been asking for like a raise, You've just been bringing to the attention of the boss, like, because you've been thinking about things, you know, and you're bringing it to the attention of the boss. You're saying, because everyone else felt afraid to speak up, but you're not the one that, you're not the type that is afraid to speak what is on your mind, because you know what it is about you? You're not afraid of change. You're not afraid to be uneasy. You're not afraid to, to go through the rough times to, to make a change. Um, you're not afraid of changing for yourself also. Mm -hmm. So that makes you a powerful leader, um, like a breaker of conditions, a breaker of change, a breaker of norms, someone that asks for change. Like you're the employee in this facility. 
that makes change for the whole, you know, for the whole region. But a lot of people were feeling like they don't want to speak up or, you know, they were just mumbling amongst each other. But you are the type of person that you, you don't even say to your people, isn't like you're not even really trying to rally people together or anything. You just go directly to the, the, the big so-called big boss and you'd say, sir, you know, like, um, we're working for you. And we actually feel like we're still not able to meet our needs. We feel like we're still out in the cold. We're not sheltered. We still can't provide for our children. But yet still, you know, we break our backs every single day. And um, and it's hard. It's unfair to know that we put out so much effort and still we're not able to live a life of decency and comfort and feel secure in ourselves to know that when we go home we sit in a decent chair and we have a decent family that we're providing for decently so you know we don't we're not just breadcrumbs and feeling like we're just working out ourselves going back to the night of hungry people like like if you're just if you're just exhausting yourself and not getting any returns for it, this is what you're explaining. You're saying to these people, I think that we can um some type like initiate or something some type of a plan to make this better in some way, so every man and woman can live honorable, integrous, sufficient lives like real people real human beings this is what you're saying this is how this is the argument that you're putting forth and this person they're going hmm because maybe they're not necessarily awful but they probably just didn't realize what was going on with their employees so okay that's what i'm seeing for you and you know there are also people that are with you where you are employed not the higher-ups those those some of those people that will try to go against you because for some reason they don't want the change you know because some of them feel like they're making more money so it's like there's like those who have like a, a little supervisory position and they're holding on to it for dear life they're afraid that some other people stirring like some other people below causing issues may affect their ranking or their positions or whatever so they they try to even keep like so if you want to speak to the higher up they try to keep you from going up to the higher up because they don't want their little positions to be disrupted but even though they too are feeling the struggle even though they too know that the struggle is real up in the streets yeah energy of that is someone is feeling sad because they feel like they messed up or they made a wrong decision this is the seven of swords card that is next someone someone just feel like something is coming through that someone there is like a confession they're crying i hear concealing you may be speaking to this person they're going to admit that they did something wrong or bad someone may be confessing to you Maybe indirectly too. The sun card. Oh my gosh. Someone is about to be speaking the truth. The sun card and the seven of swords. Something maybe named Jack. Jack of hammer. This someone is coming out with the truth. Truth. The whole truth here. They're not disguising anything. Someone is just saying what's been going on. The truth can't be hidden anymore. For real. This part, like I saw someone crying, but the, like, let's say their office has been disrupted and it's empty because I'm seeing someone in an office and it's empty and everyone must have left and they're the only one sitting there crying. And then you walk up to this person, you're some type of a hero, I don't know, or a warrior. Um, Because you walk up like, maybe imagine if you have a sword in your hand because you were on the field, you were out there, it's an emergency. So you came in and you saw this person crying oh, in their chair and asking what's going on. No, they feel bad because it's like the truth has come to light. Like all of their employees have left them. They can't do anything now. They really feel like they have messed up. Someone is feeling like, oh my God, I have messed up. So even though this person did something bad, you as this warrior with truth sword, you may be telling this person listen we've got to go we've got to keep moving we've got to keep on living there's a lot going on here you know the truth is out maybe people will forgive you because this person may be afraid that 
people are not going to like them anymore, appreciate them, and want to work here because they've been doing something um, bad behind the scenes. The world card. Something about a Gemini. They've been hiding some things. All right, let's get it. Ten of diamonds. Oh, my. So the sun card and the ten of diamonds is telling me that you are about to get it. You're about to get it. Like you're about to get it. Your money, your satisfaction, your cup falling, filling up. You're about to start a business too. Some of you may keep that a secret or keep it on the low, low in some way. You're about to like move or change direction, change speed, change thought. You're about to start making a, like big moves right now. I'm feeling something about the fire energy or the earth energy is about to start making some moves. The emperor, big moves. I feel like the ten of diamonds, this may have to do with contracts, investments, insurance. You may be investing in real estate, futuristic things. All right. I hear a lion, the queen of diamonds, <laughs> like monumental things right you're making even a name for yourself up in here i hear bathe queen of that wands and the queen of diamonds great things <laughs> okay you're making big moves you could be working with feminine energies a lot great energies the wheel of fortune and the chariot no turn up to now right prominence and success you are building great things, I'm telling you. And you have great people working with greatness. I hear great effects. And you're so, you a powerful spiritual person. I wonder if you know or do you have a clue. And there are people that admire you. People that want to work with you, partner you, partner with you. You are one of the greatest readers. Whatever teachers, whatever it is, you are in the top league. And there are other top leagues that are recognizing you. This is a message from the most high vibration, like a loving angel messages. And it's strangely happening as if it, you, you were just walking by the kingdom and the gods saw you and they're like, like the goddess of love. And she's like, home oh, human. And she just felt loving at that time. And I don't know, maybe you decide, she decided to keep you in her kingdom and you just learned the queenly, the godly ways. These things happen, you know, strangers become gods and goddesses and powerful people. I'm also seeing a, a marriage too. You're going to be working with some pretty popular or successful, powerful, top-notch spiritual people. Like their vibration is so high, so full of love and harmony and peace. They're collaborating with that energy. I see. I see this. Okay. This is really, really good for you. Oh my gosh, and the chariot card again. This has been set up by your angels. This is something that has been long in the making for you. It's Punantana, it's royal energy, number seven. This is coming with um, a lot of um, triumphant energies, victory, blessings, prosperity, energy. And you could be leading this too. Like I say, you are a leader. I was saying that earlier. You don't play four of cups with your, with your stance. You're getting something your way. <laughs> Judgment. Yeah. They may say you are spoiled or spoiled rich or something. But I feel like you get your way. Sorry. You're getting your way. Sun, sun card and the four of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Nine of Cups, you're also getting recognized as one of the powerfuls. Maybe by energies that were trying to test you. Now they're like, uh -huh, all right, I'm going to give you your props for real. I'm going to stand back. I'm going to give you your credit. But they're not, you, your attitude now is like, you're not giving me. I've literally earned this, right? So <laughs> that's what I'm feeling like for Cups Energy. You've put in the work for this. You're really smart and strong. Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. Mentorship and something being doctored up. You're like in a league of your own. You're a giant. Right? The Hierophant. 
for real like <laughs> you may be like all right so imagine this little drummer boy or something this little light of mine that is the energy that you have within you so your spirit compared to the hierophant energy like you can all right let's say this little youth i'm seeing in this vision yeah because you have like i'm saying you are great but they may think you are small because maybe of how you look or maybe it's your gender your age um whatever in society they may be thinking or multiple of these factors <laughs> that you are exhibiting. They may be thinking, oh, she's small, he's small, he's not going to think. But you you equate to the, how am I saying, like you measure up to these hierophant energies, you know. You can talk their talk, you can sit around their table, you can have conversations with them and they know it. That's what I'm seeing. Whoever these hierophants are, they know it. Lion energy. You may be Leo, the Hierophant. You're a Hierophant yourself. Oh my God. So it's like they see you as just a regular. Because I'm seeing that this little youth in one of those movies. um, Like one of those old time karate movies. However, you are like a prophet like Ang. Like you may be childlike in spirit or youthful or young. But you're like the avatar. You are the high priest. You are the, you are a high priest, yeah, and they I'm just I'm telling you that they know it, eight of swords, they know it, but you just don't. You're also like the black sheep high priest. <laughs> That's the energy, two of cups. All right, <laughs> so we have the king of wands next. Someone is also learning that they cannot take their anger out on you. It does not go well. For real, like, because they will try to take their, their emotions upon you like the fire lord. But, um, or someone who is trying to fire someone or trigger them or get them worked up or anxious. But that does not happen. It doesn't really sit well with you. So it normally goes back to these people. Like, you, like, they try to, like, trigger you. So imagine they try to, like, pick on you, trigger you, and but you don't react how they want you to react. So they're left in their own stew. Yeah, and that is kind of funny. Yep. Four of Wands. I like this. So we have the Nine of Diamonds. The Four of Wands is like peace, harmony, balance. And for sure, like love. I did mention you're going to be meeting up with a love in your life, which is beautiful. Like someone you can really work with. Right? That you share. Someone you share a similar vision with. And I see hope and well-being and like positivity, prosperity, um, standards, you making a change. But use your discernment here uh, so that someone does not just say they're going to give you what you want and it's only a dream. When you take, take a stock, it's only a facade. Um, so be careful here about what this is. So I like how this is turning around. So it feels like you're getting like peace and a feeling of peace, accomplishment and success, harmony back in your body. However, I'm still getting this energy where we think it's like the end and we've won. But then when we look at it, it was it's just a dream and we're still living in a a reality that's not real and we've been sold something, an idea. You know, be mindful of that, please. Okay. Yeah. Be mindful of being. Um, a wool going over your eyes. I don't like to say it. But the four of cups is here. However, I do feel like this is saying this is what someone was thinking of doing to you. This is what someone... Okay, so the energy someone was thinking that it would not have turned out in your favor. But you end up outsmarting and getting this dream manifested like it's like you out you out trick the rival or whatever this is you outsmart it you trick it i hear fantasy into it being what you want it to be like neo in the matrix like you psyched it yes like you psyched a particular challenge and end up overpowering it to you being sitting on the top of the mountain 
accomplishing your dreams victoriously. Vibration. Something did not catch you. You escaped something. I don't know. For real. Okay? Keep following your heart. Wow. Some of you, this is poverty. Or being back in that situation. And because you are making such great changes, there were vibrations of people or whatever groups like like i said earlier too that were bothered or triggered that, that is why you had to be so discerning and sitting in your heart space often and maybe spending time on your own and being divinely guided so that you could stay prayed up and stay smart and stay divinely protected sun card all right getting your vitamins and your rest and your vision keeping your vision clear Maybe disassociating for a while, taking back your energy from sources that weren't serving you at all. And now you've done it. You've done it for real. Like you've put in a lot of work. And now look, the King of Diamonds is here. You've reached, you've made a change, right? You've made a huge change in this time. Six of Cups. And you started with yourself. That's where you started, one step at a time with you. And so someone did not really see it coming because you started with how you chose to represent. Now I see family unions. I see you loving yourself. I see you receiving love and care. I see harmony. I see marriage, successful relationships, financial prosperity, luxury, wealth. And it's really nice and positive. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next one. Beautiful soul. Take it easy out there. All is well and all is within you. Bye.